I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn a method to find area of a irregular polygon. So I have taken a very simple example. We have uh, in this case one irregular hexagon. Irregular since the sides are of different dimensions, different lengths and hexagon since it has six sides. Now how do we find area of such a figure? Well, uh, we can add the area of rectangles to find the area of the whole polygon. So what we can do here is that one of the options is to divide it in the form of these two rectangles, for example. So we can uh, form rectangles and add their area. But that is one method, right? So I'll call this as our method one. So we're going to use this method to find the area of the given uh, irregular hexagon. So we know that one of the sides is four, the other one is 10. Here we have a side length of nine. Now if I take away four, then this will be five, right? So 9 minus 4 will give me 5 for this length, correct? Now here we are given 3 meters, total length is 10 meters. Since uh, these are all right angles, these are all parallel sides. So that should be equal to 7 meters, correct? So we kind of get some dimensions here. Now, what we can do here is that we can add the area of these two rectangles. So one rectangle I'm shading now, let's call this as A1, right? So we'll call this rectangle as A1. And area A1 is basically equal to 4 times 10 meters square and which is 40 meters square. The other area is of uh, the smaller rectangle whose dimensions we have written as 5 times 3, right? So this is the, the other rectangle. So I'm calling that as A2. Area of A2 is length into width. And in this case, this side is 5, right? We just 9 minus 4. So it is 5 times 3. All are in meters, meters square. So that is 15 meters square. So clearly, we can get the dimensions, uh, rather the area of the whole figure as area equals to sum of these two areas, A1 plus A2, which is 40 meters square plus 15 meters square. And that gives us 55 meters square. So this is one of our methods, correct? So we'll call this as our first method. Now we'll do the same example with the second method. Now in second method, what we are going to do is we'll consider a big rectangle, right? So what we could do is we can form a bigger rectangle, right? So, so now we have a very big rectangle, which is 10 by 9, okay? So we have a big rectangle, let's call this as B, right? So so big rectangle is B, whose area is 10 meters by 9 meters, right? So that is the whole length, 9 meters, correct? So 10 by 9 meters, which is 90 meters square. Now from this area, uh, let's call this as B1, we can take away the area which is not included, right? So, so this is the area which is not included. So we, we are calling this as B2. So this B2 is how much? Now this length is 7 and that is 5. So it is 7 meters by 5 meters, which is 35 meters square. So that is the area which is not included in our original figure. Now, total area A is how much? Is the big area B1 minus that B2 so which is 90 minus 35 
and that gives you again 55 meter square correct so you get the same area perfect as expected we have exactly the same area so so there are two different ways in which we could do it as you can see you could divide a figure into number of rectangles add the area of each or you could have a bigger figure and from that take away the smaller one which was not included perfect to get the area of the required which was kind of like this right so i hope the steps are absolutely clear so so in case when the shapes are like rectangles this is a good way of finding the area of the whole irregular polygon i hope that is absolutely clear feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best